And I've just completed a second chance viewing of The Marine with John Cena from 2006. Actually filmed in 2004, justifying the entire Carlito hiring Jesus to stab John Cena angle from late 2004. It's a feature that is a pretty disposable action feature, but... You know, that kind of gives it some charm, I suppose. Uh, there's a lot of things that just aren't there, I should say. The effects with your explosions and such just don't hold up. Sorry, CG explosions, bad idea. Especially when Vince McMahon gets the genuine stuff in 2007. I've heard some stuff about Chris Benoit hazing, which kind of makes me want to rethink about him. But thank you, Mr. Benoit, for ruining Vince McMahon's idea of killing himself on screen. There's Robert Patrick's performance kind of justifies a watch for this as he plays the criminal, I guess, since I'm a fan of the second From Dusk Till Dawn that Hey, if you got him in a heist, it might be worthwhile. And John Cena doesn't do a bad job acting. He emotes pretty well very early in his career as an actor, not a professional wrestler. And so that's kind of charming. But, you know, the script really tries to play on Americana, I suppose. Like, we are definitely pushing the big lie of the w bush administration with how our hero the marine john cena gets ejected from the military because of al-qaeda in iraq we all know now that that doesn't just doesn't hold up and justifies why mike the miz gets any kind of bullshit he can for selling this feature or franchise so i'm running late on this review now and you know, it's fun to experiment with it, to just see what this film is in terms of how it affects John Cena, how in terms it affects the entire WWE studio system. It's kind of surprising that we just don't throw extras in the entire feature. But hey, Ronda Santos just doesn't want to give Florida money to avoid SAG, I guess.